Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome back to Vintage Story on the Aura Fury server. So I hope you guys are doing good today. I am doing great. So I'm down here in my cellar. You know, I have been using up some of the food. We don't have a lot of time on some of this anymore, but we have tons of stock ready and waiting. And we still have stuff out in the garden growing because it's not quite to the point of where everything is dying yet so that's good we've got a lot of stuff growing here and a lot of stuff growing over here and actually i need to cut down some of the leaves here because they're causing this to not get the rain and then over in the other in the terraced gardens we've got a lot of stuff growing too so i've been out and about trying to do some prospecting and I checked a lot of the areas around to the east and right underneath the base and slightly to the south. And I could not find any good uh, ore samples. I was finding, well, here, we can probably pull up the chat and see here. Oh, nope, we can't see anything because I had to uh, restart my game because my uh, headphones weren't working right. But, uh, yeah, so... The best that I saw was like a 1.2% chance of copper, which a good result for copper is like 30%. And it, it was horrible. So I decided I would start looking around, see if I could find anything else. And so I headed out into this desert and we have this spot where we mined out a meteor. And I found another meteor and another meteor and another meteor. And I actually mined so much that I went through an entire copper pickaxe mining out suavite rocks. But the other thing is, is in mining out those suavite rocks, I got two rough diamonds. So that's pretty cool. And I was able to get one of the meteoric iron. So far, what I have seen out of those three meteors is going to be 25 blocks of meteoric iron. That is pretty impressive. But in order to mine those out, I do need to make myself another iron pickaxe. So I will be doing that. And then I think we're going to go out and look some more because uh, there's a few other spots like this here. I think this might be a meteor. And we're going to just look around and see if we can find any more because, yeah, there are definitely some meteors out here. It looks like there might be one right there. I don't know. So, yeah, hopefully we can find some more meteors, too. I know that uh, when Chicken Plays and I were out and about the other day, we found some meteors down in this area. So maybe there would be some more down here. And it seems like there is a high probability of meteors out here in the desert. So, yeah, we're going to be looking around out in the desert and see if we can find anything. But before we can do that, I definitely need to make an iron pickaxe because it doesn't do us any good to expose those meteors and not be able to pick them up so i do need to clean out my inventory i have used up just about all of our andesite stones and that's part of the reason i was out prospecting was i was hoping to find something that i could go mining for and actually pick up a bunch of rocks because i've also been working on a path back towards spawn so this path is actually getting quite a bit bigger so if we follow it around here we go past our gardens and then we start into the new path that I've worked on this morning. And we go up through here. I've done a lot of terrain forming to the area, filled in a bunch of stuff here. Uh, this has all been filled in and redone. And then I shaved down this hill a little bit and filled this up a little, shaved this down and filled on the backside. And this just eventually will have a path all the way back to spawn, which will be very nice. And this actually leads us out here to this ruin that uh, I found the chair and stuff in. So, yeah, that is definitely a thing. And by the way, over here, if we uh, take a look at where I am right now. So I'm right here and over here is where Chicken Place and I have been doing our andesite quarrying. This area is very cliff oriented and so i figured that would be a very good place to put a stone quarry but there is absolutely no ore in that area so yeah we'll be doing a lot of quarrying there but that's about all we're gonna get is just you know stone but yeah let me get my inventory cleaned out get an iron pick made up 
and we'll head back out to the desert and pick up all of that meteoric iron. So I have my iron pickaxe made up and strangely enough I've actually found even more meteors now. So if we look at the map I found another one over here. Now unfortunately this one only had one block in it but that's one more block of iron. So then I've got these three here and I'm going to go ahead and mine those three out and we might have some more down in this area. So I am going to head down to that area next. But first, let's go ahead and mine these up. And I think I'm going to try to keep as many blocks as blocks as I can. So yeah, we're gonna dig into these because you know, these, these would actually look kind of neat for a decoration. But uh, yeah, I've got a lot of these blocks to mine up. Hopefully we'll get a lot of iron. Uh, I guess we'll find out. And I'll be back in a little bit. So I'm down a fair distance south of the base. If we take a look at the map here, I am right here and the base is clear up here. So I had a request from a whole bunch of people on the server that I could show them what I am looking for when searching for meteors. So this is a dead giveaway is Swayvite Stones. I mean, that is a dead giveaway. Meteoric Iron Bits is also a giveaway, but shapes like this where it makes no logical sense that there would be a depression typically it's going to be fairly symmetric and kind of round in nature but i already checked and there is meteoric iron underneath here so yeah there's going to be at least a little bit under here so i'm going to dig this out and we'll see what we get but right now i am up to 14 meteoric iron blocks and 39 iron pieces that I've picked up from the various meteors that I have found around the area. So yeah, that's the general idea of what you're looking for. Now this is an extremely small impact crater here. I have seen them be upwards of 10 blocks in diameter. This is probably one of the smallest I have ever seen. So yeah, that's another thing to keep in mind. But I will dig this all out and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So uh, after mining that meteor out, I did a little bit of prospecting here and we can actually see, so the previous prospect gave minuscule amounts of hematite. Now we're at very poor. So actually as we go further south, I think we have a higher probability of finding some hematite. That would be great because I need to find a more sustainable iron source. You know, I'm finding a lot of meteors but I need to find a more sustainable iron source. So yeah, that is definitely a thing. So I'm going to keep heading south here. Hopefully I can find some more meteors and I really need to mark this one on the mini map as being mined out. So yeah, I am going to do that and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So we'll find out if I am actually good at this. So I haven't even inspected this spot, but this definitely looks like it would be a meteor. So let's dig down just a little. There it is. That's pretty good if you ask me. So, yep. That is what you're looking for though, is shapes like that. So that makes no logical sense where the gravel is exposed and everything else is a fairly gentle contour around. So, yeah. I guess another one to dig out. So I am just about back to my base. I made a very long trek down to the south, went down to basically 4,000 blocks south of spawn. And now I'm on my way back and I didn't hardly find anything through this entire area. I found a couple of spots of copper, uh, found a meteor there. Uh, did I not mark this second one? I must not have. So that one was right here or something? I don't remember. I may have to look over the footage and see where that was. But found the two meteors and a little bit of copper. Never really got any good results from prospecting. And this is the weirdest thing in the world. I saw this and I'm like, I, I need to go and check that out. What is that? And big, huge gr uh, granite desert sand and gravel 
and right here this little mountain peak is andesite uh, I am really confused I don't know it's possible there's like some halide underneath it or something like that I don't know I doubt it but I started getting back up here and we started to get some better chances of iron so this prospect actually gave me 0.3% on hematite and 0.4% on magnetite. So then I came up here and very high percent of magnetite. So if we take a look at our log here, our info log, 3.2% for magnetite. I guess I had those backwards. It was 0.3 for magnetite and 0.4 for hematite. But so we have a very high probability for magnetite right here. And I think I am definitely going to attempt to see if we can find anything here. So I got to get back to the base and clean out my inventory. I've actually been struggling to have room for the stuff that I need. So yeah, that is definitely a problem. But I'm going to go ahead and get back to the base, clear out my inventory, get some ladders, a couple of extra pickaxes, and uh, we'll come back here and see if we can find anything. And yep, thankfully it's not terribly far away from the base. Well, that almost ended in disaster. So I popped my head into a cave on the way back out to this iron place and I found a teleport or translocator. And right as I was about ready to start recording, the wolf pops up and tries to kill me. Oh god, my heart is racing right now. So yeah, we've got a translocator here and uh, we actually have all of the things that we need to fix this. But uh, we are definitely going to be taking these crates with us. The uh, scraps, I mean, those can be traded. And two rusty gears. Okay, well, not great. So, yeah, we'll have to keep this in mind. It's not terribly far away from the base. Uh, base is over here. I'm right here. So, not, not terribly far away, but not great either. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this put in. Well, I managed to survive over here to the location where we were. So, I did have two more wolves attack me. We're up to 24 raw bush meat. So, that is definitely something that we can eat while we're out here. But, I think it is time to just start digging down. I'm going to make several holes here until I find something. So, it may be a little while. And, uh, yeah, hopefully... There is something to be found. Okay, that's rich bismuth. That's good. That's really good. So, yeah, we'll have to make sure that we get that, but I'm not after that at the moment. That's not good. Yeah, there are definitely locusts around here. Kind of illuminating the area a little bit.
Well, it may just be me, but I don't see any iron here. But we did find quartz with bountiful uh, gold and a few other things. But yeah, that is not what I want to see. Let's get up to the surface, clean out our inventory, and uh, go down in there and see if we can have a look around. So here we go, down into the deep unknown. Let's go ahead and swap some torches around here so that we can try to light the area up right away. So yeah, there will be a lot of quartz here, that's for sure. So, pick up all of this stuff that we dropped. Oh my gosh, there was a lot of stuff. So this is a very large cave. If there was iron around here, we should be able to find it, right? Wow. This is an interesting cave. I have never seen anything like this. So... Looks like there's water above here. Now if we cut that open, will it kill the oh. lava? Whoa! What the? Okay. Well, let me grab some more torches and I'll head back out there. Well, we're back to go into the foggy pit of death. Yeah. This fog sometimes can get really annoying. So it's a long ways down here. Hopefully, we will be able to see. Okay, so that's where our stuff is. Let's just quickly get over here and grab that. Thank God none of it fell into lava. Okay. So now, we have a few torches again. Where on earth did that guy come from? That's my only question. Wow. But yeah, it doesn't really look like there's any iron on this one. But now iron can spawn higher up, so that is a distinct possibility. Now we do have a, a lot of saltpeter here. That's good. So yeah, I suppose we'll just make a few more poke holes and see what we can get here. And uh, can we make that jump? Yes, we can. All right, awesome. See you guys in a little bit. So I'm actually trying messing around here with the prospecting pick. So we actually have the ability to do a node search mode on this server. And so I decided I would do a little poke here. And this spot right here actually told me, if we take a look at our chat, that it found the following ore nodes, magnetite, very verified trace amounts. So I went down by the quartz and got, uh, found the following ore nodes. Quartz, verified huge amounts. Bismuthonite, verified small amounts. And native golden quartz, verified small amounts. So I think our iron is probably a little bit higher up in the world, which would be fine by me. So let's try breaking another one. These take a long time to break with this thing in this mode. Okay, so this time we found uh, quartz in huge amounts and golden quartz in trace amounts. Okay, so somewhere here towards the middle, we should be able to locate where this stuff is. And then we just have to figure out whether we need to go, okay, we've verified trace amounts again. So I think what I'm going to do is actually dig out sideways here and see if we can verify anything other than just trace amounts for this. Well, not very far away from the ladder, and we've already verified small amounts. So, I'm pretty sure there's some magnetite here, and we're getting closer to it. So let's dig this direction for a little bit longer and see if we can verify more than small amounts. If not, then I guess we'll have to... Uh, try something a little different, but I mean, magnetite typically spawns in a huge disk of ore. 
So let's try here and see because this is about how far I went on the last one. And we have still verified small amounts. So yeah, I suppose what I'm going to do is dig some basically cross pattern tunnels here and see if I can find where this ore vein actually is. There we go. Verified. Very large amounts. That is great. Oh yeah. We are getting closer. So I went in the other direction and we got no ore nodes nearby. So yeah, I don't know what the range on this thing is, but uh, yeah, this is working very similar to the, okay, huge amounts. So we're getting even closer. <laughs> wow. So this is working much like the prospecting pick in Terra Firmacraft, which I am very familiar with. So I suppose what I want to do, the huge amounts might be good enough. Let's see here. So if we look back at this, so on the quartz, yeah, we got huge amounts. So we are probably about where we need to be. Now, I don't know if we need to dig up or down here. I suppose down would be the best option because it would make sense. But I might want to go and replenish my temporal stability first. And while I'm at it, I might as well cook up the uh, cook up the bush meat that I've got, and yeah, have some food ready to go. But yeah, it looks like we may have located a source of iron. Let's hope so. Well, I dug down quite a ways and didn't find a thing. So I came back up, plugged the bottom of the hole with some dirt, and started looking up to dig. And there it is, right there. It's poor quality, unfortunately, but there it is. That is exactly what we wanted. So we found ourselves some iron. Now, unfortunately, we are at the point where temporal stability is a bit of an issue, but we can get up on top of this and dig this all out and yes iron is now something that we don't have to worry about not to mention the fact that we will have all the stone that we could ever want mainly because I think I'm gonna go through here and dig out a too high area all the way across the top of this thing so yeah that sounds like kind of a fun plan so I have a lot, and I mean a lot, of stone to dig out of here, and I will see you guys after a while. And after just a little bit of digging, I come across some rich bismuthonite. So yeah, I think we're going to dig that out as well. Now I am going to be using the iron pick here, because uh, time is kind of crucial when I have a limited amount of temporal stability available. Now it looks like this bismuthonite actually follows the contours of the ground. So yeah, we're gonna have to dig up quite a bit for this. So yeah, quite a bit by the looks of it. But we can always use this stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna keep digging. Well, I have been digging here for a while. Still got a long ways to go, but uh, got a fair amount of this already exposed. There is plenty of iron here, so I'm not afraid at all to mine this using iron tools. And we should be able to get all of this iron, and then we'll be able to just smelt it normally and use our uh, anvil to make ingots and all of that good stuff. But uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. So I'm gonna say thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to give a thumbs up. And can I see my face? Thank you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any thoughts about what I've been working on or anything that you would like to see, be sure to leave that down in the comments. And I will see you next time. Bye.